Africa is blessed with the greatest mineral endowment on the planet, and it hasn't even begun to be scratched. And mining as an enterprise has to be completely, utterly, and totally reinvented. What we knew is the mining industry has to be thrown out. I think Africa will lead the world in the mining industry, not by a small margin, but by a vast margin. The Congo is passing. Uh, Peru is the second largest copper producer. Congo has 78% of the world's cobalt production. The richest copper is in Katanga province in the Congo. Nothing else even comes close. In the mining industry, we have to go to where it is. We've woken up to the fact that it's the Congolese people that own their resource, and they're a young population. The average person in the Congo is 18 years old. We're 97.8% Congolese in the company. We hire young women and we hire young men based on their eagerness to learn. And they're phenomenal. You know, we have young kids writing code, computer code. We have 5G wireless. And we own the mining industry in the Congo. In the Congo, we have hydroelectricity and the highest grade copper in the world. Young Africans can do anything. They're phenomenal workers. If we're going to even dream about not burning oil or burning coal to make electrical energy, we can't get there from here without African resources. Africa holds the key to the future. Russia has an incredible mineral endowment, but Russia is in a state of collapse. We haven't built a, a significant mine in the United States in 40 years because of the banana principle. Build absolutely nothing anywhere near anybody. We have a society where people don't know where things come from anymore. Mm. Mm. And when you really have a sober understanding of where this sits, there's no chance as a species of us getting to where we want to go without the young people on the African continent.